Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? Today we have another episode for JJK or Jujutsu Kaisen. And if at any point you do enjoy doing the video and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help me out and lets me know that you guys want to see more of it. And without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Kanagawa Perfectual. I'm gonna read fast enough. But it was something high school. <laughs> Yo, spoilers, my guy. Can't be doing that. Why are we seeing these guys? These guys are dead already. Like, they don't even mean anything to the story anymore. I guess since it's his backstory, I guess it does kind of mean something. Is this present day? Is he going to use, like, cursed energy on him or something? Guess not. I thought he was going to use, like, his cursed, new cursed energy on him to knock him away from the DVD. Idol Transfiguration, Episode 10. This guy's a little bit weird, you know? Tad bit creepy. If we're being honest here. So he, is he just feeding cursed energy to this thing to make it even bigger? Wait, that's a human? I'd say not with how calm he is with looking at these things. Yo, that thing looks wild. Kid's starting to be a lot creepier than the curse. Is realistically, is he the only one that understands or is he just misunderstanding it? Because to be the only person to understand what a soul is is kind of unrealistic. But maybe since he's a curse, he actually can see something like that and isn't got it twisted. Okay, yeah, this is about to get wild, I'm pretty sure. Is this when they're following him in the last episode? Yep. Mm, I guess they're right there. He hasn't attended school since the Sukuna finger incident. We're calling that quite well. I don't know if we can really call getting thrown around by like a seven foot tall panda is quite well. I feel like this is pretty dangerous to test out. But they don't know what strength he is. So I don't know how those two are supposed to restrain him. Okay, so they will retreat and get Mr. Nanami if they can't take him down. Okay, so sorcerers are stronger than spirits on average, it seems. Yeah, 
で俺はそういう大事な情報知らないの<笑> yeah. Yes, Mr. Gojo is irresponsible. There's, there's no way to really get around that. He is cool, but he's definitely irresponsible. He's like, I really don't want to be the one doing all this work right now. Can we, like, find out a new thing to do? Ooh, are we gonna see Mr. Nanami and、uh, Mahito fight here? Oh, I'm hoping he doesn't turn Mr. Nanami into a curse. That could be pretty bad. But I don't really see him understand why he said experimenting on somebody too weak would, wouldn't bring any interest. Because he experimented on those kids who couldn't even see him. Oh, so Mr. Nanami is saying that Maito and Gojo are like in their personalities in a way. Okay. Oh, he okay. I thought he blocked it, but he got him there. Okay. <laughs> that is so weird. I'm just like throwing it around like that. I wonder if he can tell if this guy's a cursed、uh, spirit or if he's a sorcerer. Okay, he knows he's a cursed spirit then. Never mind. That'd be kind of scary though to see multiple、uh, special grades that have been unreported before and now they're just popping up everywhere. I don't like arbitrary questions like that. That's kind of annoying. But it looks like Mr. Nanami's gonna answer. I guess he's wrong? Ooh, okay, that's kind of cool. So he's not just speculating on what the, came first, the body or the soul, but he's actually giving a reason to why it is the way it is. Bro's just turning like raising people into actual curse spirits, it looks like. Kind of weird. My man said, I take my nine to five very seriously. We gotta finish. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. But a 30 minute fight is still long. Bro, you literally saw them beating him up. How are you gonna ask if they were friends? Like, are you stupid? Bro's about to kill him right now. There's no way he asked that. Like, look at his eyes, like, flickering. He's about to lose it on this guy. <laughs> oh no, don't insult the guy. That was the dumbest thing you could have done. <laughs> But I guess Yuji coming in to interfere right here is best case scenario because I feel like he would have killed him otherwise. <laughs> And he hit his head. Yo, this guy's supposed to be experienced and he's really just blowing it here. Yuji, straight to the point. Let's keep it going. 
Is that like a button specific to Jujutsu Tech? Is that why he uh, recognized it? Because the curse might have told him about it? Because the curse knows Gojo, so he should know Jujutsu Tech. Ain't no way he just took the teacher's pants and bolted. Nah, you don't chase after him. Like, you get your pants taken from you. You cut your losses and go home. He got around the corner that fast? Dude, I didn't know. I, th I knew he was strong, but I didn't know he was like lightning speed. Can Yuji sense hatred now? Since he's like part of like Tsukuna is a part of him? Maybe? Maybe not. Could just be a he's just guessing out there. I don't know. Because he did visibly not like that guy who was in front of him. It wasn't like hard to hide. Ooh, we're gonna get to see a, an actual fight now. Cause I feel like Mahito and Nanami are pretty level on a playing field. Cause I think Mahito might be a little bit stronger here. And Mr. Nanami is gonna be a little bit more skilled. That's my guess right now. Oh, yo, that's creepy. Nah, there's a problem with Mahito. He says he doesn't bring personal feelings into work, but he wiped away the person's tears. Oh, but this guy is a special grade, so... Oh, no. Wait, is he turning him into a curse? Oh, that's not fair. So, he, can he just turn into whatever he feels like it almost? Oh, that's kind of cool. So do all sorcerers kind of unknowingly protect their soul with their cursed energy then? Because he doesn't know. I don't think Nanami knows what he's doing. Oh, this could be bad. I feel like Nanami's gonna have to run. Because he's uh, first grade, and this thing's a special grade, so I think he's kind of outmatched in that sense. Oh, it's 6 o'clock, so he's been fighting for 30 minutes now. Oh, you know, nobody likes to work overtime. Oh, it's over? No. You know, with him working overtime, he's not going to like it. So that, I feel like his, his energy, his cursed energy might like double almost. Like it's going to go crazy. And I wonder who like, because he kind of is outmatched if he's a first grade and the, the curse is a special grade. So I'm kind of wondering... Even with this power up, who's going to have to leave the fight first? Or like, is like somebody going to escape and just run? Or is somebody actually going to win this fight? Because the last curse that we saw, like the last special grade that we saw, even Gojo fought the special grade and he wasn't able to uh, defeat it because the other special grade came and ran him away or whatever. Like, I, I don't really know how to explain that. But he like grabbed the head and ran off. And met up with uh, Ghetto. And once again, if at any point you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help me out. And I will see you in the next one.